Hi, I'm Courtney Harder with Case IH. Today we're going to be talking about how to set the closing system on your 2000 series planner. So the row unit that we've got in front of us here has the two-stage closing system on it. This is what the majority of Case IH of early riser planters are going to be equipped with. Um, what that two-stage closing system means is we've got a set of offset closing discs up front and we've got a chevron pattern press wheel um, on the back. The job that this is doing is working in tandem with our gauge wheel to um, first of all zip up that trench and then press that trench back over for uniform soil density and then our chevron pattern is going to channel that water to directly over the seed. So with that, how do we set this system to work in your field conditions? So we've got a couple different options. We're gonna set, um, we're gonna set the closing disc pressure separately from the, the press wheel pressure. So our closing disc pressure, what this planter is equipped with is in-cab closing. So what that means is we've got an air cylinder. You can see it's pinned um, right here in the casting of the row unit. We've got an air cylinder controlling our down pressure on our closing discs. So when we set the pressure on our closing discs, we're setting that from in the cab via, and the, the pressure is being put down via this air cylinder. And um, we've got a range of zero to 75 PSI on this air cylinder, and that equates to zero to 150 pounds of down pressure. So we'll go over to the display here to, um, to get that set. Our closer control window is how we are controlling how much pressure that cylinder is putting down. And then our closer pressure window is telling us how much is actually there. So that's the feedback that we're getting at the valve on the air compressor that is controlling the down pressure on our air cylinders. So closer control, we hit that window and our pop-up comes up. We can type in anywhere from zero to 75 PSI. And this is going to be our set once again and our closer pressure um, is going to tell us how much we're actually putting down through those air cylinders. So that said, how do you know from that zero to 75 PSI um, range, how much you should actually be putting down? So again, the job that we are doing with our closing discs is zipping that trench shut. So with our early riser row unit, again, we said that that two-stage closing system works in tandem with the RID gauge wheel. So that RID gauge wheel, that reduced inner diameter, it creates a more fragile trench because we've got that, uh, that inner lip, that reduced inner diameter of the gauge wheel to store soil in an uncompacted manner. So with that, since we've got a more fragile trench, we are coming behind it with our offset closing discs and simply zipping it back shut. We're not really collapsing it, we're simply zipping it back shut. So we want to make sure that when we dig, um, we are looking for, did the trench get shut? Um, if we can see that we've still got, um, or if we can see a, a defined path to the seed, if we've got sunlight going all the way down to that seed in the trench, we probably don't have enough closing pressure. So the default closing pressure for the in-cab system is 35 PSI. Again, that's on a range of zero to 75 PSI. So 35 is the default. If your planter typically requires um, a more aggressive closing setting, you might wanna start out heavier than that just, just because you already know that, uh, that you're probably going to need it. Once again, the job of the closing disc is simply to zip that trench shut. We wanna make sure that, that both sides of that trench wall are closed together. If your planter is not equipped with the in-cab closing option, then you've got a spring controlling the down pressure on these closing discs. That spring is gonna be mounted in the B, C, or D positions on this casting and just adjust which position that spring is mounted in in order to adjust your spring pressure. The B position being the lightest and the D position being the heaviest. Um, C is gonna be a middle of the road place to start, but if you know that you've got more aggressive conditions, um, tougher conditions than usual where you require more downforce, then you can just start off in that D position right away. Beyond setting the pressure on the closing discs, we have one other adjustment to make to our closing discs, and that is our depth stop for our cast arm for our closing discs. And that depth stop is going to be right here ahead of, um, ahead of our closing disc. So we've got two positions, and again, that is acting for a depth stop 
meaning that those discs aren't gonna sink into the ground in softer conditions and plow up residue and dirt. It also serves to protect that air cylinder as well. So we've got a lighter and a deeper position. Right now we are in the front hole and that is in the deeper position. Um, that is going to typically be for corn, no-till corn um, conditions. If we move to softer bean conditions, we might move that pin back up to that, uh, that lighter position. It's not necessarily a requirement when you move to different depths um, or different conditions. That doesn't necessarily mean right away that you need to change that. Um, I would move into that different field, move into that different condition and keep that same pin position and make sure then when you put it in the field, make sure that you're not plowing up residue, plowing up dirt. And um, if that's the, if you are not, um, if you are not plowing anything up, that pin position is probably where it needs to be. Um, and you probably don't need to move that pin position. But if you do see that happening, you can lighten up that pin position. That's what it's there for. So the last thing that we are going to set on our two-stage closing system is the pressure on our pneumatic press wheel. So you can see we've got two spring positions here. We've got one and two. Right now we are in the lower spring position, which is going to give us the heaviest downforce. If we are in that heaviest position and still need more downforce than what we're getting, we do have a heavy-duty spring available through parts. Ask your dealer if that's something that you think that you will need for, um, for your conditions. To confirm if our press wheel is doing its job, once again, the, the job of those, those closing discs is to zip that trench shut. So beyond that, our press wheel is making sure that it presses out that trench to give us a flat surface over that trench. And with that flat surface, we want to make sure we've got uniform soil density around that seed. So we're pressing out air pockets as well as making sure that we've got that 360 degrees of seed to soil contact and um, we do that by having that right amount of, um, of pressure on that press wheel. So when we are digging, the first thing that we want to look at is, is that trench shut? Did our closing discs do their job? And secondly, um, do we have any air pockets around that seed? Do we have that good seed to soil contact? And then very lastly, do we have that chevron pattern imprinted into the soil um, that is going to channel our water to the seed? So that is the settings on the two-stage closing system. We also have an option for a V-press system. And the V-press system is what we've got pictured here. It's basically that same, uh, that same rubber press wheel system, but we've got it controlled um, similar to the way we control our two-stage closing system. We've got that option for an in-cab air cylinder, or we've got a manual spring down pressure setting. Our V-Press closing system, it's going to work in tandem with a flat gauge wheel versus the reduced inner diameter gauge wheel that we have equipped on this planter. Um, the reason for that is just as our RID gauge wheel created a more fragile trench, we are creating a denser trench um, with the flat gauge wheel. And with that denser trench, the V-Press closing system is designed to close that denser, the denser walls of, that, um, of the trench that the flat gauge wheel creates. So with that, if you put V-Press wheels on your planter, make sure that it gets ordered with the flat gauge wheel option. And if you have the two-stage closing system, we'll want to make sure it's got that reduced inner diameter gauge wheel as well. So that said, how do we set the V-Press closing system in the field? So we'll start with in cab. Um, once again, this is uh, similar to what we looked at on, um, on our planter there. We've got an air cylinder controlling the down pressure that is keeping this v these V-Press wheels in the ground. And um, this is gonna be the same window on the Pro 700 that we showed. With that, how do we make sure that, um, that we're closing the trench with that V-Press system? Um, there's several old uh, rules of thumb to seeing if you're closing the trench with the system. Um, basically, first we wanna make sure that our, our trench walls are closed. We wanna make sure we don't have a direct pocket of sunlight down to that seed. And secondly, when we dig that seed out, we wanna make sure that it's not too tough to access that seed. If, we can, uh, if we're requiring a lot of force to get to that seed, 
um, when we when we dig it up, then we can probably lighten up our downforce and um, and see if we and make sure you've still got that same closure around the seed when you lighten up that downforce. So that would be how we would how we would dial it in is is make sure first of all that the trench is getting shut, and then beyond that, make sure that it doesn't require too much force to dig that seed out. So. Um, our other option is our manual spring down pressure on our V-press system. And we, so we've got A positions all the way to D positions on our casting here. And that is going to take us from lightest down pressure to heaviest down pressure levels. One final thing to note that our in-cab closing settings can be tied to a work condition. We will have work conditions set up in another video that you can reference. Um, and this concludes our discussion on closing settings for the 2000 series planters. For more information, reference your operator's manual or contact your local Case IH dealer.